Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon, and today we are discussing tainted talent. Friends, as you all know, we see that the music industry, it is in the forefront of every facet of our lives. Music, music, music. And for those of us who are very serious about our relationship with Jesus Christ, we must be very careful. We must heed to his words that you will know a tree by its fruit. We must heed to his words to be careful that no one deceives us. And one of the areas that many people are being swept away is through what we call gospel music, contemporary gospel music. I used to be a partaker of gospel music many, many, many years ago. And I could tell you, friends, it's been well over a decade that I don't allow my ears much to come here. But this young lady, Tasha Cobbs, is one of the most popular African-American gospel artists right now. She is everywhere. And let us, let's state some clear facts. Tasha Cobbs is very well known in many African-American church circles. And this young lady can sing. She has a beautiful talent. But talent will not save you from God's wrath. Let me say it again. Your talent will not save you. This is for every last one of us, including me. I don't care what we do and how skillful we are. If we do not walk in the way that is straight and narrow, Jesus said it. Only few shall find that narrow path. Friends, God is serious when it comes to leaders. He is serious when it comes to our temple. Our temples belong to God. Our bodies belong to God. Let me apologize for how risque and 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 very this this picture just it it was sent to me by one of the viewers here on my channel. And I was shocked. I was I was shocked. I was hurt because I couldn't understand how Tasha Cobbs could sit and pose. First of all, we, we're not even going to touch much. We see that she has her legs wide open. And for some of you millennials, you would say, what's wrong with that? Ladies are taught to cross our legs. We keep our legs shut. That's number one. This is so disturbing. It's just shocking. Those who are regulars on my channel, you know, I have labored to teach us, ladies, that we don't wear cut up jeans, tight jeans. When you can see your front vajayjay, your vagina crack, your back crack, attack, you just attacking people from the front and the back, you're out of order. Now, Tasha Cobbs, in the sight of God, he don't see a singer. He don't see, see a gospel artist. And she's not the only one toting about this way. And I said, Sharon, because I had never seen her this provocative. I said, hold up, let me be fair. And, 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 and for some of you who are fans of people, I'm not a fan of people. I love Jesus, friends. I love Jesus. I love God. The most high God, he, he has standards. And the scriptures say, when you are trying to remove a speck out of your brother's eye and you got a whole beam in yours, you're out of order. When Jesus saved me almost 30 years ago, the first thing that the Holy Spirit taught me was modest apparel. How we dress and present ourselves, ladies, is so basic. It's like for elementary. Every, every woman that has God's spirit should know, one, you will never open your legs this wide, posing for a camera. This is just, I'm, I'm just going to leave that alone. Let me stay up top. And I apologize, brothers and sisters, for those of you who may be offended with the picture, but we got to deal with Tasha Cobbs and those, this going about in this way because you have people who are following you and many of you, you are following their patterns, their displays of provocative attire. Listen to what God told me. 
back in 2005. And I have been proclaiming it. It has caused me many enemies, which is fine with me. God is going to send all of you, if you don't cease using your temple as sexual pictorials, this this here is very clear. All those boobies, all that cleavage, that low cut. Come on, Tasha. Come on, everyone that's roaming around like this. You're going to perish. Oh, yes, you are. You are playing the harlot. Don't let the media, don't let these modern day singing sensations trick you, sisters. If this is what you think is acceptable, you're wrong. First Timothy chapter two clearly tells us that a woman should be modest in our apparel. And when Paul wrote this letter, this epistle to the young pastor at Timothy, there was no such thing as pants, let alone tight ones, cut up. Come on, ladies, you know the cut up jeans is the sexy. I said, let me be fair and check. So I did a Google search and I found this picture of Tasha with, I presume this is her husband. But let me tell you, brothers and sisters, this ain't about earthly connection. We got to be connected to our father. This is out of order. You Y'all see these boobies right here? You see all this propped up? I pray this gets to Tasha's camp and those alike. You will not make it. You cannot play the harlot and lead others to do the same. You will be held accountable. Where is Tasha Cobb's pastor? Where is all of these so-called bishops and fathers in the church of God in Christ, so to speak, denomination? Where are these people at? Y'all see this? Y'all see this and y'all let them come right to your churches because why? Tasha Cobbs is nothing but a money magnet for these wolves in sheep's clothing that bring her in to draw the crowds. They're prostituting this precious child. She is being prostituted. They are getting paid and no one... I am, I am confident and believing that Tasha, if she had those that say they love her, sit her down and explain she has fallen out the way. You can sing, honey, sing us to the moon and back. It's not going to save you. And the greatest deception, gospel artists, and those alike that sing and you want to sing, let me tell you what the number one thing that you must be delivered from. And that is the applause of men. It is deceitful. It Listen, friends, those of you, the reason I heart your comments is to acknowledge it. I am not going to argue, go back and forth. I am not swayed by any of your comments, friends. See, a lot of you, you think you know, Sister Sharon, you don't know me. I am a dead woman walking. I am live in this world, I got to pay my bills. Yes, I do. But I have been delivered and I am, I glorify God in saying so. He has set me free from this world. And I'm going to tell you this, friends, you cannot expect God to bless your eternal position when you go back on him. When you go away from God, you on your own. And that's when he sends a preacher. That's when the exhorters come. That's when the real prophets show up to say, scoot back over there. You have fallen out of the way. Ladies and gentlemen, don't let anyone deceive you. God is not mocked. What you sow to this nasty flesh, you're gonna reap it. The applause of men is a deceiver. We can't be moved by your applause, whether you say you hate me or love me. I'm not moved because Jesus and the heavenly father, they like me. They understand me. Do you understand what I'm saying, friends? The applause of men, if you live for it, 
It'll kill you when you don't get it. This is why many of you millennials have been lulled to sleep because you're not used to real godly instruction. If I see those boobies, if I see breast, if I see thigh, this is this is purposely showcase. Tasha is showcasing. She is showcasing purposely those breasts. Sisters, this spirit is not of God. And we that love our sister and those like her must begin to challenge her. See, when you become a celebrity and you are celebrated, if you are not surrounded by people that really love you, they're going to let you stay out in that wide road and you're going to perish. This is so disturbing. Tasha needs a sabbatical with God because Satan, our adversary, he is in charge of this industry. Friends, I challenge you, especially you ladies, if you think for one moment you're going to get by his judgment. See, those of you that believe once saved, always saved, that you can go back out on God and cheat and whoremonger and call and, and spiritually rape other people. See, see, when you put it out like Tasha doing in these photographs, friends, th this right here, this is rape. This is rape. You are emotionally and spiritually raping innocent people with that body. Tainted talent. That is what we see in droves. Men and women who have a talent, they are being celebrated. They are being put on p platforms constantly. And their so-called bishops say nothing. Where is her pastor? Where is all these prophets and prophetess? Where are all of these people that have enough influence to pull on this precious soul. Wake up, people. You won't make it. Your talent, it will take you straight to hell. Oh, yes, it will. Tainted talent, singing, playing instruments, whatever it is that you're doing, stroking the ego. That's what the applause of men will do. And it will trick you to think that you're in a place with God. You're not. You done fell away. Enough has been said. I pray that Tasha finds her way back to the true and the living God. And that she would sanctify her body. And the way she carries herself. Ladies, you never sit with your legs open like that. Never, never, never wake up, sisters, because a man cannot have his way except you allow him to have his way. And the family is being destroyed because of loose women who are causing men to stumble. Pornography. This is pornographic. You can say, oh, sister Sharon, this. No, this picture is pornographic. Oh yes. And make no mistake, this one is too. And 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 for those of you who say, well my husband like it. Your husband didn't die on that cross 2000 years ago for your sin. It was Jesus Christ. I urge each one of you as I close this exhortation, enough has been said here. Repent from your sin. Repent. Repent. Go back to God. Look at your life. Comb over your life. Put your gift and your talent on the altar. Go away quietly and fall back in love with your first love. Do your first works over. 
God have mercy on Tasha Cobbs and all those around her that will not sit her down. No pastor, she shouldn't be in nobody's church singing nothing. 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 She, see, listen, friends, hear me now. Don't let what you see the media celebrities doing. The way is straight and it's narrow. Pastors, those that are real and you know the way, you need to get a hold of Tasha Cobb's people. And all those that's toting around like her, we need to repent. We need to repent, people. When you love someone, you correct them. When you love someone, you strive with them. That's what God's been doing with us 2,000 years since Jesus went to the cross. He's been striving with us because he loves us. He takes no pleasure in anyone perishing. No, he does not. The scriptures teach us it's God's will that no man perish. He doesn't want us to perish. That's why he gave us Jesus. Many of you pastors, you are evil to your core. Yes, you are. You trade some money for a soul. And the reason why these churches are flooded with so many people who are, who are living in sin and, and wayward is because you're afraid to offend them. Oh, I get women that want to attack me all the time. This has gone on since Jesus put this anointing on me to cry aloud against what I'm showing you today. This ain't nothing new, friends. I've been doing this work with modest apparel. He put this in me. You're going to all perish if you do not repent. Go the other way, sisters. Get some clothes and put it on it. Stop the sexy. Do that in private for your husband. Come out of this mindset. Come out. Get rid of your demons of rejection. Get rid of your demons of anger and unforgiveness. Get rid of all of those thoughts in your heart of people that hurt you. And now you're using your sexuality to dominate and hurt other people. You will perish. God bless you, my friends. Enough has been said. I love you, my sisters. Oh, don't let nobody trick you. Sister Sharon, I come strong when it's wrong. This is wrong. This is, this is wrong. God bless us all today. Till next time, my friends.